Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we have ourselves a 70s jazz bass tone shootout. Let's do this. Next to me are two 70s jazz basses. And not just any 70s jazz basses, we have ourselves a shootout between a Sire V5 and the Squire Classic Vibe 70s jazz bass. Both are 70s inspired jazz basses with a lot of similarities, including their pickup placement, neck material, sort of, both being maple on maple, and their overall, I guess, vibe. However, they do have a bunch of glaring differences, including the price, with the Sire being around $85 more than our Squire here. And today we're going to see if that $85 is worth it in regards to picking out your 70s style jazz bass. As I mentioned, both of these basses are jazz basses with 70s pickup placement. However, the Sire that we have here has an alder body, where the Squire has a poplar body. So there is a difference in materials, with the alder being perceived as a higher quality material, and I'm going to have to agree with that. The pickups are very similar as well, both being jazz bass single coil pickups. The Marcus Miller has the Vintage J Revolution set, where the Squire has a Fender designed El Nico uh, jazz bass pickup set. Both are passive basses and both are set up with the classic volume volume tone config on these jazz bass control plates that also have the jack mounted there as well. For pick guards, both basses feature a black on white on black three ply pick guard jazz bass style pick guard. However, the shapes are ever so slightly different, and the Sire does have the truss rod adjustment at the heel of the neck, and there's a little cutaway where the Squire has that up at the headstock. But before we talk about these necks, let's talk about the bridges real quick. The Sire is rocking the regular Sire vintage style bridge that's featured on most of the 5 series basses, with the ridged saddles and the ability to string through the bridge or string through the body. That is some flexibility that you do not get with our Squire over here. However, the Squire does have a bit more rounded edges on the corners of the bridge, where the uh, Sire is a bit more squared off. And then moving on to the necks, we have similar profiles and similar dimensions with both of these necks. We have 34 inch scale, 20 frets, and black binding with black blocks. The Sire is rocking a roasted maple neck with a roasted maple fingerboard, and the Squire is rocking just a maple neck with a maple fingerboard. But it does have a vintage tint and a gloss all around. The Sire has a glossy fingerboard, but the back of the neck is a satin polyurethane. Both bases also feature a 9.5 inch radius on the fingerboard and a 38mm nut width, a typical jazz bass profile. And then finally, moving up to the headstock, we can see that these are very different headstocks, with the Squire featuring a Fender-ish headstock because it is a Fender subsidiary, so they can use the Fender shape, and that they do. They also have the vintage lettering with the Squire jazz bass up there. We have four vintage style open gear tuners that are okay. They're not the best tuners, but they're not the worst. And we have a two string string tree. The Sire, on the other hand, has metallic lettering saying Marcus Miller, which in my opinion looks a bit more premium, though less vintage. And we have the four Sire open gear tuners, which are also quite good, though they are a bit on the heavy side, but they're about the same weight as what you would get on something with the Squire here, so they're pretty much the same. The Sire does feature a three string string tree, however, holding down the A, D, and G strings, whereas the Squire is only holding down the D and the G, so there is a bit of a difference there as well. Whether or not it's impactful, that is for you to decide. But those are the similarities and the differences that we have here with our Sire V5 and our Squire Classic Vibe 70s Jazz Bass. In regards to balance and weight, you can check out the balance of these bases in my full reviews, which will be linked down in the description below. For weight, our Sire V5 weighs in at 9.5 pounds, and the Squire weighs in at 9 pounds on the dot. So there's about a half a pound of difference between these two bases. However, it's not super evident when you're holding them. They do feel pretty much the same. However, because the Sire has a bit of a heavier body, I do find that it balances ever so slightly better. But both of these bases would benefit from a set of lightweight tuners. 
But now, I know you're all wondering, what do these basses sound like back to back? You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and push that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. We'll be playing these basses back to back, finger style, with a pick, and slap. And we'll be having the tone at 100% as well as all the way down, and checking out both pickups individually as well as both pickups together. Let's get to it.
So here are my final thoughts on our two jazz basses here. The Sire definitely provides the better playing experience overall. I found my hand getting fatigued with the Squire, which I recently reviewed and I just had to tweak the setup before the review because the necks on those things really like to move. And it moved again and it was kind of difficult to play. The Sire on the other hand has held its setup quite nicely with the roasted maple neck here that played wonderfully. Also very comfortable with the edgeless fingerboard. Tonally, that is up to you guys. I think that the Sire definitely sounded more authentic to me in terms of that vintage jazz bass tone, but I guess it'll be kind of up in the air and uh, I'll listen to these basses when I'm editing this video whenever I do that. So in my opinion, for the $85 price difference, I would definitely snag the Sire V5 over the Squire Classic Vibe as uh, this is just a much more solid instrument all around. It holds the setup nicely, the neck is a joy to play, the stock pickups sound pretty solid as is, and as you know, I love to mod these sires. And the V5 is no exception, with my fretless V5 being one of my favorite modded sires ever. But that will do it for this comparison of our Sire V5 and the Squire Classic Vibe 70s Jazz Bass. Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. 
Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Sire V5 and our Squire Classic Vibe 70s Jazz Bass. And as always, until we groove again.